everyone, it's Drew from Meisner Sewing and Vacuum in Sacramento. And today I wanted to share a little bit about the Brother NQ1700 Embroidery Only Machine. This is a great machine. Maybe you're looking to get into embroidery. Uh, you're just starting off, uh, wanting to explore some options. Maybe you have a machine already. You're looking for a second machine to travel with a six by 10 inch embroidery field. It gives you a pretty generous work area for most uh, in the who projects today that you want to do. Uh, towels, t-shirts, tons of different options uh, for this machine. Um, with it, you're going to have 13 different font styles built into it, over 250 different designs built into the machine. You can import designs via the Design Database Transfer Program that you can download from the Brother website, or you can import designs on a USB stick. Now I want to dive in and show you a little bit more about what this machine can do for you. So we're going to start off by sliding on our hoop. Pretty simple, we're just going to slide it under the presser foot. Comes into the bracket and simply slide the lever down and we're good to go. <clears throat> And then our upper threading, I'll quickly show you. It's pretty simple, it's all numbered and arrowed. We're gonna come one, two, over the top, down under three, come up over four. I had to lower my presser foot, raise and lower it. Come down, five, six is the guide above the needle, and then really nice automatic needle threader. Boom, we're threaded, ready to go. Gonna pull this little loop out the back side. Convenient thread cutter over on the side of the machine. And now let's explore some of our built-in patterns. So I'd mentioned there's 13 different fonts. We're gonna select the letter A and we can scroll through, use my arrows, three different pages for those fonts. When I select a font, <clears throat> um, it's gonna prompt me to start typing in, let's do brother. I'm gonna select B. I have a large, medium, and small option. We're gonna go to a medium size. And then with uppercase, I can scroll through, come over, Lowercase, very intuitive. And there we've got brother, and we're just gonna say set. It automatically centers the design inside of the hoop. To move the design, I can simply touch and drag to position it where I want it to go. I have my move icon, but so if I wanna ever so slightly move it, I can use my arrows to position it, or we'll just go back to center for the time being. Uh, font edit. There's a lot we can do with the fonts on this machine. Uh, I can put the design with array. I can put it onto an arc. So if I wanted to arc the design over something, under something, I can increase the amount of the arc, decrease the amount of the arc. I'll say OK. I can actually change font styles without having to reprogram it and see how that design is going to look. If you wanted to get a preview of this, I can touch the hoop icon. That brings it up and shows me the design. I can see how the design would look in the hoop, or we wanna really zoom in and see how it looks. We'll say that's good. Uh, I can space my letters farther apart, closer together. I can make each individual letter a different color by selecting multicolor. If I want to select one letter, I could take one individual letter and make that bigger or smaller. We're gonna say, okay. Uh, by going to the add button, it brings me back to my home screen. And I'd mentioned there's over 250 different built-in patterns. We'll select our first menu, come in, select another menu. This particular um, menu has 18 different pages of designs. Again, I can just use my arrow and scroll through. When I find a design that I like, I just hit set. Again, it's gonna be centered. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. We're gonna hit select. and select the font. We're gonna slightly move that up. I'll say okay. Take a look and now I can see that that looks pretty pretty good. Once we're done, I hit edit end. It's now combined those two patterns. So instead of being individual elements, they're now together. So if I do move them, it's gonna move them in unison and keep those where I want them. If I'm not sure if this is right where I want the design to go, I can do a trial. And once I hit the trial, it's going to show me an outline under the foot of where the design is going to be positioned on the material. That looks good. So we're going to say OK. Uh, at this point, we're going to hit embroidery. It's now showing me we've got a total of 9,369 stitches. It's going to take about 15 minutes. There's going to be 10 different color changes. The first color is black. And the preview screen over here shows me that the brother, the letters that we select is, is what it's going to be doing. And at this point, I am ready to go. We can just hit start. 
One of the great features about the embroidery uh, part of this is that it automatically cuts the jump stitches. So as it goes from one letter to the next letter in different segments of the design, it's gonna cut those connecting stitches. So there's no cleanup once it is all done that I have to do with the embroidery. This also has a bobbin sensor. So if the bobbin thread does get low and run out while I'm in the middle of embroidery, it will stop and prompt me to change my bobbin out. We also have an upper thread sensor. If the thread does break while the machine is in the middle of embroidery, it'll stop and let us know. There was one of those jump stitches that I just did going from the first letter, letter B to the letter R. So now the machine has completed its first uh, step, which was the brother letters. It is now stopped. It's on the second color. I've got number two of 10. Uh, it's recommending that white is gonna be the next color. It's showing me in the preview screen that it's gonna do the inside of the lower fish. I'm gonna take our little snips, our scissors that come with the machine. I like to cut my thread at the top and pull it through so nothing gets caught as I'm pulling the thread backwards out of the machine. Oops. My little spool, mini, mini spool cap. I love those for these cones of thread. I'm just gonna slide that inside. And then now all we have to do is just re-thread the machine. And then hit start. And we're on to the next step. Okay. So thank you for joining me today as we explore the Brother NQ1700. Again, I wanted to kind of just review a little bit about the machine uh, with its 6 by 10 inch embroidery area that gives you a very nice uh, field, a nice amount, amount of area workspace for doing lots of different projects. If I compare it to a 4 by 4 inch or entry level, you can really see how much more space you're gaining on what you're able to embroider on. Uh, also, this machine does come with a 5 by 7 inch embroidery field, so you have lots of flexibility. So maybe you've outgrown your current machine and you're looking to get into something bigger to give you more room. Um, also, maybe you've got you know one of the bigger machines, but you're taking the machines to classes and doing lots of projects and having fun, and you just don't want to carry around that big machine. You can still get a lot done with this nice 6 by 10 inch embroidery area, but with a much more compact machine, making it great for taking it to classes and maybe going over to a friend's house uh, and so on. So again, you can um, purchase the machine from us uh, right through our website. We have uh, hassle-free uh, returns if you have any issues, but you're, you're probably not going to. You're going to love this machine. Um, we do have 0% interest financing available, free shipping throughout the continuous uh, 48 United States. Um, and we're here to help. Uh, for best pricing, give us a call. Call our 800 number. You can see it on the screen, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Otherwise, I, I can guarantee you're going to love the Brother NQ1700 embroidery on the machine. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.